him and it was an accident. No hard feelings? Saracen's losing it. He thinks I should retire. So? I was wondering if you would talk to him. Why would they do that? Because I'm your friend. Because I taught you everything you know about racing. Without me, you would be nothing. <laughs> for that you could or you could have me ride for you hey get off my bike it's not yours anymore Philip. you should have taken the watch it's your back now his name is callus somebody saw him here the other night never heard of him well you couldn't exactly miss him he has an unusual voice Something happened to his throat. Sorry. to see that I was with him in his arms and he seemed so in I'm so nervous. He'd probably feel the same way about meeting you. Sure, he would. Antonio Neri, the world's greatest tenor, I would like you to meet Maria Campolo. She sings a little. Maria, you have a great gift. Don't underestimate it. Antonio Neri's Paris debut, and my date's the best looking man here. <laughs> I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly call it a date. I know. My uncle asked you to take me. But I can pretend, can't I? Buenos dias. Picasso. Que tal? You know Picasso? We've met. I wonder where he is. Ah, uh, he'll be the one surrounded by women. Just listen to the sound of clanking jewelry. Oh, 
It was quite lovely. Very good. Welcome to my home, Duncan McLeod. I'm glad you are here. How are you? My friend, the past is gone, forgotten. We all change over the years. I know I have. <coughs> Forgive me, I'm Antonio Nair. Miss Maria Campolo. They said you were greater than Caruso. They were right. And you have the voice of an angel. You two know each other? Duncan MacLeod knows everybody. No, your friend did me a great favor once. I used to lead a very cloistered life, but he advised me otherwise. It doesn't seem to have hurt you much. On the contrary, I owe my success. I believe it's getting late. But we just got here. Oh, I hope you won't leave without dancing with me. I'd love to. Let me guess. I know you can't be his daughter. Of course not. We're close friends. And perhaps more than just friends? Really, Mr. Neary? Please. We're all adults here. And after all, this is 1920. you have done. 